In synthesis, we want to try to make big molecules from small molecules, like putting a daisy chain together. Earlier in this course, we discussed acids, bases, and pKa, so stop the video and answer these questions. So the answers are, so remember, higher pKa, weaker base. Based on pKa, acetylene is a very weak acid. However, acetylene is a stronger acid than ethylene. Since acetylene is a very weak acid, its conjugate base, the acetylide ion, is a very strong base. The pKa of acetylene is 25. So stop the video, pull out your pKa table, and answer this question, which base reacts with acetylene? The answer is... The acetylide ion is a strong base and strong nucleophile. It is used in organic synthesis by reacting with an alkyl halide in a substitution reaction. So stop the video and answer this question. And here is the answer. So when acetylide reacts with an alkyl halide, a new carbon-carbon bond forms. This is the reason the acetylide ion is so important in organic synthesis. So let's review substitution reactions. Stop the video and answer these two questions. And the answers are, we learned earlier that alkyl halides undergo substitution, but so do alcohols. So stop the video and answer this question. And the answer is, because an acid-base reaction occurs. Making carbon-carbon bonds is the way bigger molecules are made from smaller molecules. So here are a few other ways to make carbon-carbon bonds. This picture is a review of alkyne reactions. Stop the video and identify the reaction type for each reaction, whether it's acid-base, substitution, elimination, or addition. Here are the answers. Every reaction is an addition reaction except for, and, addition reactions used in organic synthesis because they can be used to make different functional groups. Alkynes can be converted to alkenes, which convert to alkanes. Acetylene, or a terminal alkyne, is used to lengthen a carbon chain. Remove the proton from acetylene to form the acetylate ion, and then use the acetylate ion to react with an alkyl halide in the substitution reaction. That will form a carbon-carbon bond to make a bigger molecule. Many organic syntheses either start from an alkene or go through an alkene intermediate to get to the target compound. So far we've looked at alkene and alkyne addition reactions. Remember the pi bond behaves like a nucleophile. We also looked at alkynes being weak acids, but these alkynes are stronger acids than alkenes. If you want to make a carbon-carbon bond, one way to do that is to use the acetylide ion. React the acetylide ion with an alkyl halide to make that carbon-carbon bond. This will make bigger molecules from small ones. We also know that elimination reactions are used to make pi bonds, so alkenes and alkynes are made via elimination reactions. So let's review some reactions. We know how to make an alkene. We also know how to do an alkene addition reaction. We know how to do an alkyne addition reaction. So stop the video and answer these two questions. And the answers are, four different bromine compounds can be used in an elimination reaction to make propyne. Remember, use a strong base in that reaction. The alkyne addition product is, also remember that addition reactions are the reverse of elimination reactions. Pi bonds are made using an elimination reaction. A leaving group and H on a beta carbon are needed for that elimination reaction to occur. Note that this compound has two leaving groups, so two elimination reactions can occur to make the alkyne as long as there's H's on the beta carbon. So let's review these elimination reactions. Stop the video and identify the method which does not work to make acetylene. Here are the answers. First, I'll circle the leaving groups and draw in the H bond to each beta carbon. Here is the product of each reaction. So the first reaction does not make acetylene. 
this reaction map shows all the reactions we've covered so far, except for this reaction, which is a radical reaction, which we'll cover later. So stop the video and review the reaction conditions for each reaction.